right, today we're reading about an overview of India. Number one, what nation controlled India between 1800 to 1947? How many wars has India fought with Pakistan? Three, how many states are there in India? Four, in the 1980s, what are two changes India made in regards to the outside world? And five, many international companies blank work to India. The vast and diverse Indian subcontinent, from the mountainous Afghan frontier to the jungles of Burma, was under foreign rule from the early 1800s until the demise of British control in 1947. The subsequent partition of the subcontinent into present-day India and Pakistan sowed the seeds for future conflict. There have been three wars between India and its arch-rival Pakistan since 1947, two of them over disputed territory of Kashmir. A peace process which started in 2004 stayed on track despite tensions over Kashmir and several high-profile bombings into Mumbai attacks on November 2008, which police blamed on Pakistani militants. India announced that the process was on pause following the following month. With many languages, cultures, and religions, India is highly diverse. This is also reflected in its federal political system, whereby power is shared between the central government and 28 states. However, caste and regional tensions continue to haunt Indian politics, sometimes threatening its long-standing democratic and spiritual culture. In 1984, Prime Minister Indahar Gandhi was gunned down by her Sikh bodyguards after ordering troops to flush out Sikh militants from the Golden Temple in Amritsar. And in 1992, widespread Hindu-Muslim violence erupted after Hindu extremists demolished the Barbai Mosque at Adahoya. Independent India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, dreamed up a socialist society and created a vast public infrastructure, much of which became a burden to the state. From late 1980s, India began to open to the outside world, encouraging economic reform and foreign investment. It is now courted by the world's leading economies and political powers, including one-time foe of China. The country has a burgeoning urban middle class and has made great strides in the fields such as information technology. Its large skilled workforce makes it, pop, makes it a popular choice for international companies seeking to outsource work. All right, I'm going to answer those questions if you would please.